Hello my little butterflies, in this video is going to be my review on the Wicked Waltz by, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. Okay guys, so this book was sent to me by the author in exchange for my honest review. And the synopsis sounded so freaking good y'all. Like I was like, oh yeah, that sounds like my cup of tea because you know, I'm really interested in books like this. So first of all, let me just tell you guys what the book is about. So this book is about this girl named Anika and it's about her wanting to get into Wicca. But her parents want her to go to college for engineering, but she was trying to figure out how she was going to tell them that she wanted to go down the Wiccan pathway and she wanted to learn how to do Wiccan. And her journey, and the book is basically about her journey about finding an actual Wiccan to teach her Wicca so she could learn from them. And it's also about her finding her first love and how, like, what that what that really did to her because it's her first time falling in love and shit. Um, it's about like betrayal and different kind of damn twists going on. And where she lives, there is this like something very strange is happening. Like, people are dying and people think it's wolf attacks and she didn't know that it had anything to do with um, the pathway that she was trying to go down and say she has to find a teacher to teach it to her and there's this storm brewing between the Wiccan clans, there's this storm brewing and she's like basically right in the middle of everything because this is what she wanted. Now, I probably did a terrible job of explaining about what all of this is about, but I tried. So I gave this book a two and a half, a two and a half stars out of five stars. And it's not that it was a terrible book, because it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It's just I had more things that I didn't like about it than what I did like about it. And the potential was there. It's just it needed a little bit more of a push to get things going. Okay, so First of all, like I said, the plot had freaking potential. Like, the, the plot, it had potential. Now, I'm very interested in, like, witchcraft-type books because it's, like, any book that has witchcraft in it is bound to be magical. And I love reading books that are just magical and makes you feel like you can one day do stuff like that. Even though you know it, you probably won't. But it's a good thing to imagine. So, I was disappointed that I ended up only feeling this book was two and a half stars. Worthy, I was kind of disappointed. Um, the first thing that I really didn't like about this book was the transitioning. And I mean like the scene transitioning because it's like one chapter we followed Anika in her room pacing around trying to figure out how she was going to tell her parents that she wanted to go down a wicked pathway instead of going to college to do engineering. And then the next chapter all of a sudden she's in college and she's in a hot living in a hostel and it's like wait what happened between then and now because the chapter ended off while trying to figure out she was how her parents were going to take it when she told them and then all of a sudden jump forward a year later she's in college what the hell happened so it's like and that didn't just happen in the beginning it happens uh quite a bit throughout the book where we leave off one place at the end of one chapter and then fast forward somewhere else doing something else in the next chapter and it's like you hear them like reminiscing on what happened between the chapters that we didn't read and it's like wait what the hell happened like why and and it's, fr it's frustrating because then you find yourself lost a lot throughout the book and then you're trying to pay attention to what they're saying so that what their conversations are about so you can try to piece together what happened that the author didn't actually literally write in the book and you kind of have to like make it up as you go along you know and trying to figure out what the hell happened that we didn't read that we missed and it's very frustrating because you throughout the whole book you try to you're, you're trying to play catch up to figure out what the hell happened and i did not like that that irritated me it frustrated me another thing that i really did not care for in this book was when vampires and wolves were introduced i just i hate that a lot of people feel like when it's a book that involves witches you have to necessarily put vampires and wolves or werewolves or something something of the sort of a wolf in because you're talking about witches and I just I didn't want that in this book like I wasn't expecting wolves or vampires to be in the 
the story and I honestly didn't want them or need them. I kind of just wanted to hear about the witches and what's going on in the Wiccan world, you know? I didn't want to hear old vampires and shit now. And that that's where it really lost some points for me when I got to the, the introduction of vampires. And I was like, I'm not feeling this anymore. Because <laughs> I, I really not want to hear about vampires at all. Now, even though I didn't want to hear about vampires, I guess how they were used in the story was good, but I just, I didn't, I didn't feel like hearing about vampires. I really just wanted to know about the Wiccans, you know, I didn't want to hear about vampires and stuff, but how it was, how he used them was really good, so I can't say how they were used were good. The other thing that I did not like in this story was the love triangle. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good love triangle in books. Don't, I love a good love triangle because it brings, like, feistiness to the story. But I didn't love it in this story because I felt like the whole story was dependent on this love triangle. Like, if you were to take away the love triangle out of the plot, there would be no plot. There would be no story because the whole story is pretty much based on this love triangle. And if you take them out, then you really have like nothing for the story to really fall on. It, it has nothing for the story to fall back on. And I don't like when stories, like when authors make their books dependent on one thing. Cause it's like, if I take away this thing, then what happens to the story? There's, there's nothing left in the story and it's just exasperating. <laughs> like I didn't wanna. If I got tired of hearing about the love triangle because the love triangle was kind of predictable. Like at the beginning, like you can tell, oh yeah, she has a thing for him. It wasn't something that, oh she just, she just, you know, imagining things. No, you could tell that this woman had a thing for him. And the plot twist though, the plot twist was good. Because of that, I wasn't expecting. But the plot twist was really good in this story. The individual character, the individual character's personalities were really good. I wish that the relationships between the characters were more developed. I like the action that was going on during the story. I just did, I just wish like the fighting scenes had more description and more of a dialogue to them so it wouldn't be so short. So, oh yeah, this happened and then boom, now it's over. It's like, wait. I want more like I want to know more like that would have made it better to have more of a descriptive fighting scenes that would have made the book a whole lot better just because you know you actually got to what do they call it um soak that's not the word I was thinking about but that's the word that comes to my head that you actually get to soak in to the actual fighting scenes and that would have made it better for me so yeah like I said I just I, I didn't like that the story was relying on the love triangle that's the, that's like the one thing that i really hated was that it was relying on this love triangle and it's like i hate that because i didn't like the love triangle and if i took the love triangle out there would be no reason to read the book because then the whole book will crumble because it's based around this love triangle you wouldn't even have a story anymore and i won't be continuing the series but i am very 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 thankful that i got the chance to review this book even though i won't be continuing with the series because I just I can't I don't want I don't want any more of this love triangle I just I don't want any more of it but yeah I gave it two and a half out of five stars and that is my review for this book thinking about this book as a whole I will compare it to the underworld the movie like if the underworld was written as a book this book would be like the watered down version of the underworld so yeah that is my review for this book um i hate that i didn't like it because i had expectations for it because it was involving witchcraft and i just knew you know a book involving witchcraft would be good because it's gonna be magical and it's gonna be amazing and it's gonna make you feel like you can do fucking spells and shit like tomorrow but I, it didn't have that hold on me and i hate that it didn't because i really wanted to like this because of the witchcraft but i mean what can you do what can you say um, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.